I'm Katie, your safety trainer, and today we're stepping into the world of wine glasses. Picture this, you're at a restaurant, bar, or winery, savoring wine from those elegant glasses designed to enhance every aroma and flavor. But here's the thing, after the last sip, those glasses need a good clean. And while washing them is one part of the process, polishing them to a gleam is another story. But did you know that hand polishing wine glasses isn't just about making them sparkle? It can actually be a bit risky. In today's video, we're going to explore the different types of wine glasses you might come across at work, the various methods of polishing them, and importantly, the hazards associated with this task. Plus, we'll dive into some safe work practices to ensure you can make those glasses shine without compromising your safety. So let's raise a glass to learning all about safely handling and polishing wine glasses. In the world of wine, glasses are more than just vessels. They're the key to unlocking the full experience of each sip. So let's take a tour through the diverse landscape of wine glasses. We enjoying this safety video. There's more where that came from on Got Safety Light. Sign up for free and gain access to our library of over 1,800 safety videos. If we don't have the lesson you're looking for, we'll make it at no cost. Click the link to sign up today. We start with the Bordeaux glass. It's robust and tall, designed to bring out the best in full-bodied red wines like Cabernet Sauvignon. Next, we have the Burgundy glass with a larger bowl to capture the aromas of more delicate red wines like Pinot Noir. Then there's the standard white wine glass, a bit smaller than the red wine glasses, perfect for keeping white wines cool and concentrated. The Champagne flute is all about celebration, Tall and slender, it's designed to preserve the bubbles and aroma of your favorite bubbly. For those who enjoy a glass of rosé, the rosé wine glass with its slightly flared lip enhances the wine's crisp and fresh qualities. The dessert wine glass, on the other hand, is smaller, meant for sweeter wines where a smaller serving is just right. The stemless wine glass is a modern twist, offering a more casual experience while still maintaining the integrity of the wine's temperature and flavor. For the fortified wine lovers, we have the port wine glass, smaller to emphasize the rich flavors. And lastly, the sherry glass, similar to the port glass, but even smaller, perfect for sipping those unique wines. Each of these glasses serves a specific purpose, enhancing the wine's taste, aroma, and overall experience. But remember, with different shapes and sizes come different considerations when it comes to cleaning and polishing them safely. Polishing wine glasses by hand might seem like a straightforward task, but it's one that comes with its own set of hazards. Let's take a closer look at what you might be up against. First up, cuts or lacerations from broken glass. This can happen if you're applying too much pressure while polishing or if you're handling the glass at awkward angles. Overstuffing polishing cloths into the glass's bowl is another common misstep. And let's not forget the danger of handling broken glass shards. A slip here can lead to a nasty cut. Then there's a risk of eye injuries. Imagine a glass shattering unexpectedly. Those fragments can easily end up in your eyes, causing serious harm. Last but not least, repetitive motion injuries. These are sneaky and can creep up on you over time. When you're repeating the same polishing motions over and over, conditions like carpal tunnel syndrome or tendonitis can develop, leading to long-term discomfort and mobility issues. When it comes to the fine art of polishing wine glasses, it's all about finesse and safety. Imagine yourself standing there, cloth in hand, ready to make those glasses sparkle. But before you start, there are a few things to keep in mind. The first thing to ensure is that you're wearing the right shoes, specifically closed-toed ones. This isn't just about comfort, it's a crucial step in protecting your feet in case a glass breaks. Imagine the area where you'll be working. It needs to be well organized and clean. This isn't just for efficiency, it's a safety measure to prevent accidents. Also make sure the lighting is good. It's not just to see the sparkle on the glasses, but also to inspect them properly for any chips, cracks, or leftover residues. Now let's talk about handling the glasses. Before you even start polishing, inspect each glass. If you spot any residue or contaminants that the wash didn't get rid of, it's time for a rewash. And if you come across chipped or cracked glasses, report them to your supervisor and dispose of them according to your company's policies. Handling clean glasses is almost like handling something precious. Try not to touch them with your bare hands while polishing. Some places might even have a two-cloth system during polishing to keep the glasses pristine. If you're ever in doubt about how to handle clean glassware at your facility, a chat with your supervisor can clear that up. Choosing the right cloth is key. You want something like microfiber or another non-abrasive material that won't scratch the glass or leave lint. Now the actual polishing. 
Hold the glass gently, not too tight, as you pass the polishing cloth over it. Applying too much pressure is a no-go. It's all about a gentle touch to avoid breaking the glass. Be careful not to overstuff the glasses bowl with the cloth. It's tempting to try and speed up the process, but cramming too much cloth in can lead to breakage. And speaking of breakage, it's important to avoid twisting the bowl and stem in opposite directions. Those parts of the glass are especially fragile and can easily snap. Applying even pressure during the polishing process is key. It's a bit like giving a gentle massage. Too much pressure can lead to accidents. If you're polishing for extended periods, remember to maintain good posture and ergonomics. Your future self will thank you for taking care of your back and shoulders. Regular breaks are essential, not just for your mind, but also for your hands. Those repetitive polishing movements can take a toll, so giving your hands a rest is crucial. Let's talk about the inevitable. Sometimes glasses break. When that happens, don't go in with your bare hands. Use a broom and a dustpan, or put on some cut-resistant gloves to safely pick up the pieces. And always report any breakages to your supervisor. After you're done polishing, storing the glasses correctly is just as important as the polishing itself. Make sure to follow your company's guidelines for storage. And remember, if you do get cut or injured, don't brush it off. Notify your supervisor immediately and seek medical attention if needed, especially for cuts that might require stitches. As we wrap up today's video, let's reflect on the delicate dance of hand polishing wine glasses. In the world of restaurants, wineries, and other establishments where wine is a centerpiece, the sparkle and shine of a well-polished glass adds an extra touch of elegance to the drinking experience. But as we've seen, the task of bringing out that gleam isn't without its risks. The variety of shapes and sizes of wine glasses combined with the inherently fragile nature of glass means that hand polishing is more than just a chore, it's a skill that requires care and attention. The key is to apply gentle pressure and avoid any twisting motions that could stress the glass. If you ever find yourself unsure about the best way to polish wine glasses at your workplace, don't hesitate to reach out to your supervisor. That's all for today's lesson on the safe handling and polishing of wine glasses. If you enjoyed this video and found it helpful, be sure to follow us on social media for more safety tips and insights. And remember, stay safe out there.